In this special edition of tutorials, we will create the arms for our minifigure. Isolate components, create perpendicular constraints, dimension on angles, explain over constrained dimensions, section views, reverting position, and so much more. So, welcome to the Learn It channel, lesson 10E. So welcome back to the next tutorial. We are going to work on the arms with this tutorial. So this is an exciting lesson. This is probably the most complicated aspect of this uh, entire series of tutorials. So let's dive into it. Let's just take a look at our arms first of all. We're gonna isolate them. Great, let's just hide our right arm here and take a look at it. So it's on an angle because it was built in context or modeled in context there we have it so let's start our design first of all we're going to look at our drawings here let's go to our next drawing here's our arm and we're going to design this as our right arm to follow the drawing so the right and left arms are mirrored so let's do that new design let's save it right away and call this arms now, just like the legs, there's two of them. So we've got to create a new component. And let's call this right arm. Awesome. So let's start our design. Let's go back to our drawing. And this is similar to the leg in that all the dimensions are here. We can just sketch it and then start extruding. So first of all, let's do this circle and the post. So, well, let's just do the circle first of all, 0 0.080. So we're going to create a sketch on this plane. And our radius is 0 0.080, so we can times it by 2. There we go. Now let's just fit. Great. Okay. Let's go back to our drawing. Now we're going to go down on our tangents. One line is 150. The next line is 200, though. Let's do that. So again, we're going to go down here, 150. The next one, 200 thou. Make sure that our vertical constraints are there. If they're not there, I'm just gonna delete it. Our lines are gonna be all crazy. So let's go back to our vertical constraint and we can re-add it. Now let's put our tangent constraints. So we've got one, two, and now look at our lines are black. They're beautiful, excellent. Great, let's go back to our drawing. Here we have 175 thou length, and it's 145 degree between the two of them. So remember that 175 and 145. So here we go, 175, oh, point. 175 and let's create an angle between the two of 145 great now our next line is actually 90 degrees to this it's perpendicular so right now as you can see there's a square in the corner of that line and the one that I'm creating and that means it is perpendicular great if it's not perpendicular, well, we can always add a constraint. So here we can go, perpendicular, one, two, great. And now it's added that 90 degrees. So how long is this line? Let's go back to our drawing. It's 140 thou. So let's dimension that. Oop. So as you can see, I just made a mistake. I went down and this isn't 140 thou horizontally, it's the line length is 140 thou. So let's delete that. Let's press D and I'm gonna go down on an angle. Instead of moving my cursor down, I'm gonna go on an angle and there we have it. So let's click and I've already forgotten the dimension. Oh, it's 140, great. So here you can see that there is a reference dimension as well. And I'll show you why this is a reference dimension. It's 0.227, so let's go back there. Let's create a line between this point and that point. Now, if I were to create a dimension and call it 0.227, well, it's already 227, but look what happens when I press click. Ah, it says it's over constrained. 
So it's already black without any dimension on it. That's because this line is completely uh, constrained in dimension. This one is as well. It can't move anywhere. So this line by default is completely constrained. So if I try and create another dimension on it, even though it's the same thing, it will bring up that hair sketch geometry is over constrained. Let's go back to our drawing. I think this is ready to go. Great. So we're going to extrude it 100 thou. Let's do that. Finish our sketch. And this is the right arm. So we are going to extrude it one, two, and it is 100 thou. Perfect. Now let's do our post off of the side. Our post is 100 thou by 125 thou extruded. So let's create a sketch there. And it's 100 thou. Finish sketch. By 125 thou deep. Great. So now what's next? Well, we can start adding our fillets onto it. Now I added some. Uh, notes here. We've got 80 thou and this is a reference over here section DD so if we cut out our section here DD this is what we're looking at and we're looking at it as in our faces over here and we're looking at the side. Say this a section is cut right there along those dotted lines and the arrows mean we're looking from this perspective looking directly at it. So we're looking at the side a cutout here, the section detail, and this is referring to the bicep, so the upper portion of our arm, it's 80 thou. And then our forearm fillets are 70 thou. So the design note over here says create bicep fillets first, then foreman fillets. Well, that doesn't make sense. Let's go forearm forearm fillets. There we go. Okay, so 80 and 70. Let's go back to our arms. Great. So let's go to fillet and we're going to select that. Well, look at this. So if we type in 080, beautiful. Great. And now let's create another two fillets over here of 70. Awesome. So we've got our complete arm. Well, we just have to do the hand hole over here. So let's go over there to our drawing. And if we zoom in, we've got 125 thou deep and 75 thou diameter. Great. And this is right in the middle of our arm. Great. So let's create a sketch right there. And remember, we want the center point and the center point. So let's create a line from there to there. Let's call this a construction line. And at our center point, we're going to call this 75 thou. Finish sketch. And this is going to be extruded minus 0.125. Great. Let's just add some fillets to it as well to finish it off, breaking the edges. Great, let's do that, let's do that, and let's do that, 0 0.0025, amazing. So all we have to do now is mirror it. Uh, but before we mirror it, what is the color? It is red, red glossy, so A for appearance. Red, let's type that in the library. Great, and where is our enamel glossy? Perfect. And now remember, this is the right arm, so we can right click. Ah, let's just mirror, sorry. And components, excellent, mirror plane. We can just select that as well and go OK. Now we've got to. So I've just moved the part. Look at up here, we have a position uh, icon that comes up, and we can revert position, just put it back there for now. So, congratulations, you've just finished this tutorial. We've designed the arms. Now we're gonna move on to the last aspect of design before we start getting into rendering, into motion study, into all sorts of other goodies. So, come back for the next tutorial. See you then.